Welcome to the Sugarbush Resort Golf Club located in beautiful Warren, Vermont. The course was built in 1965 by Robert Trent Jones Sr. The mountain golf design has had a few upgrades but holds true to his wonderful architecture and his motto. Each hole should be a tough par and an easy bogey. I'm Roger King, the PGA head golf professional, and it's my pleasure to take you through each wonderful hole and how best to navigate the challenge. The first hole introduces you to our mountain golf experience. On this uphill, slight dogleg right par 4, your target is just left of the fairway bunker. This area offers a level lie for your approach shot. Big hitters can attempt to fly the fairway bunker on the right side for a shorter approach to the green. Take an extra club for your approach, but be sure to leave your ball below the hole on this sloping green. Hole number 2 demands an accurate tee shot as trees on the right and left come into play quickly. Once you find the fairway, the uphill approach to this two-tiered green makes for a difficult shot. Stay below the hole here at all costs to score well. From the tee, bombers can cut the left-hand corner to this dogleg left, but beware of falling into the deep, rough-filled pit or pulling it too far left and going out of bounds. The group of pines straight away is the safe target giving way to a downhill approach to the large green. Two bunkers guard this green, one short and one long, so take that into consideration on approach. Play your tee shot to the left of the fairway bunker. The uphill second shot will play long, so take an extra club to carry the two greenside bunkers short as they are no bargain. Once on the green, it slopes back to front, so leaving it below the hole is key to a good score here. This uphill par 3 plays half a club longer than the yardage. Since the green slopes severely from left to right, your target should be to the left side of the green, Do not miss this green to the right, you will be left with an extremely difficult uphill chip. On this severe dogleg left, going with driver brings into play the right rough, or even worse, the woods. The target off the tee is just inside the left tree line, leaving a mid to long iron into a slightly elevated green. One of our more picturesque holes allows you to hit away off the tee, but make sure to stay away from the trees on the left. Your approach will be downhill with your stance being extremely awkward. Club selection is crucial as slope, lie, and wind all come into play. This uphill par 3 plays a club longer than the yardage. The green slopes from right to left and back to front. But beware of the false front as your shot could roll back toward you. On this dogleg right, your target is the last house on the right in the distance. The uphill second shot will require extra club as you hit into a large green that slopes back to front off of a fairway that slopes right to left. The back nine starts with a downhill par 5. Your target is just inside the rock on the left side of the fairway. Your second shot, you can either lay up to the flat part of the fairway, leaving a downhill approach into a green that slopes back to front, or 
Try to go for the green in two. Club selection is crucial for this downhill par 3, especially when the wind is blowing. Be sure to clear the creek and the bunkers that guard the front of the green. The green is very shallow as it is only 12 yards from front to back. A dogleg left par 4 with out of bounds on the left side, your target is the lone apple tree straight away. The approach shot plays uphill so make sure to take extra club. A small pond short and left protects this difficult green. Beware of this dogleg right par 4 as the left woods come into play very quickly. A well struck driver or fairway wood will leave a short to mid iron into this uphill approach. The green with bunkers short slopes back to front so make sure to leave the ball below the hole. This risk reward dogleg left downhill par 5 gives you the option to either cut the corner over the tall tree or play safe with an iron to the beginning of the fairway. If you wish to go for the green in two, make sure to avoid the pond on the left at all costs. A layup down the fairway leads to a short iron or wedge into the green. The mound on the right side of the fairway is an excellent target for your tee shot. The approach plays longer than appears and the green slopes from right to left. This tough par 3 is all carry. If the pin is on the right side, take an extra club as the green runs away from you. The green slopes back to front. The middle of the green is always a good play. This short dogleg right requires a precise tee shot with out of bounds running down both sides. The uphill approach plays into a very deep green, so make sure to look at where the pin is before selecting your club. Our finishing hole is a great par 4. The fairway slopes right to left, so aim your driver over the 150 marker and swing away. Beware of the out of bounds down the right along the road. The uphill approach plays into a large, two-tiered green with a false front and a deep bunker guarding the green. <laughs> 